Tracy White, and welcome to Community Louisiana on Your View. Today, we're highlighting groups who are making a real difference in communities of Louisiana. You already know peak performance for physical therapy, but find out what they're doing now to help make exercise your medicine. Then, we'll take a look at one organization that is helping keep our seniors safe from Medicare fraud. Next, learn about a place that serious barbecue fans can call home in South Louisiana. But first, let's check in with our friends at Peak Performance Physical Therapy. Take a look. Peak started in 1999 with one clinic over off of Industrial Flex Boulevard. We have grown presently to seven clinic locations. We have three located in Baton Rouge. We're also in Brulee. Uh, we're in Dutchtown, we're in Denham Springs. We try to keep the hours uh, as patient friendly as possible. We start normally at 7 in the morning and we usually treat until about 6 in the evening. Uh, it's, it's hard to get to therapy sometimes, so we make it to where the patients have it a little bit easier, um, both from a location standpoint and a time standpoint. Physical therapy is constantly changing, just like the, the, the rest of the medical profession. So our, our therapists are trained, we keep them educated in all the latest and greatest technology and, and treatment uh, uh, procedures. We're doing trigger point dry needling. We continue to do some aquatic therapy. Uh, we have added an Alter G treadmill, which is an anti-gravity treadmill, which allows us to get some of the benefits of aquatic therapy but on land on a, in a dry environment without having the patient you know, go through the pool. We have occupational therapy, hand specialists that work on, you know, on occupational hand injuries. Uh, we're doing functional capacity evaluations. Uh, we have our, our wellness program, our exercise, which is our, you know, our program that we try to transition appropriate patients into if they want to get into an exercise program. Through our outreach program, uh, which involves high school athletics, uh, local sporting events, we've covered rodeo events, we've covered tennis tournaments, we've covered adventure races. With those being covered along with the health clubs that we associated with and doing screenings and allowing uh, individuals to come in with a problem, with an ache or a pain and for us to do a free assessment to kind of see what was going on, we have have you know helped to develop the practice as as you know a little bit of a gatekeeper. So people can come to us, we can evaluate an injury. Now, if we uh, feel that it's something that physical therapy can address and we can help with, we can now treat directly from somebody walking in the door. What patient access means is that we now by the state law have patients have their, um, access to our services so we're really a valuable part of the medical team a lot of times when there's something that we're not really sure about or might look like it's a little bit more involved we refer directly to a, a, a medical doctor who, who specializes in that type of a problem We've worked really hard to, to, to establish a really good relationship with all of the healthcare providers in town. And Baton Rouge is lucky from, from physical therapists all over the city to physicians, we've got some really, really quality healthcare providers. We started advertising with Cox Game of the Week in the first year, I believe it was 2001. We had no idea how effective the coverage of our services through Cox and, and now through the Eurview program would be. We were able to get our, our brand out in the community and it really helped to establish us as a, a, a key participant in the healthcare of athletes. It was easy for us to show that we were taking that same passion that we have for healing and putting it into every other patient who walks in the door. We do treat a lot of athletes, but we also have a motto that we kind of treat the athlete and everyone. We all have some form of activity that we want to do. Somebody's activity may be gardening and somebody's activity may be running, and so we want to find out what their activity is and, and make therapy functional. What we like to do is we like to take the principles that apply to those athletes who have to get back into the sport. 
I like to apply that to everybody else, whether you're gardening or whether you're getting groceries out of the back of the car or whether you're picking up your grandkids. You know, it's as, it's as important to every individual to be able to be pain free and to be able to do the things that they enjoy in life. We look at life as a sport. And with, with that, there's a little bit of an athlete in each one of us. You know, for more information on our therapy services, it's, it's easy to get us. You can call any of the clinic locations. They can direct you to the, maybe the location that's closest to you. Uh, Peak has a Facebook page that's, that's pretty easy to find. And our website at peakphysicaltherapy.com has loads of information about not only our services, but our the locations, hours, and our clinicians. The specialists at Peak Performance can help equip you for health, both now and in the future. When we come back, Find out what the Senior Medicare Patrol is doing to prevent fraud and keep seniors from being taken advantage of in Louisiana. Right now, criminals are hard at work scamming our seniors and wasting your tax dollars by defrauding Medicare. Luckily, the Senior Medicare Patrol is out there working hard to educate seniors and to report fraud to law enforcement. Take a look. Senior Medicare Patrol is a federally funded program of the Administration for Community Living. In Louisiana, Mississippi, and Georgia, Senior Medicare Patrol is sponsored by EQ Health Solutions. Our mission is to empower and assist Medicare beneficiaries, their families, and caregivers to prevent, detect, and report health care fraud, errors, and abuse through outreach, counseling, and education. The mission of SMP is important, but we are a program with a small budget. We have no more than four paid staff in the state's reservice, so our program relies very heavily on volunteers to help us educate seniors statewide. Since June 2015, we have educated 350,000 people through outreach and education events and spoken to over 3,500 people one-on-one. -on -one. Plus, countless other beneficiaries were reached via media exposure statewide. With the help of volunteers across the states, SMP educates seniors and their caregivers by providing short 20-minute classes that teach them to protect themselves from Medicare fraud. We also attend health fairs and other community events where we distribute information about Medicare fraud. Since June 2015, EQ Health Solutions Senior Medicare Patrol had an average of 250 volunteers working statewide. These volunteers help by attending community outreach events and giving education sessions in their communities. There are over 800,000 beneficiaries in each state, so volunteers are critical to aid in our outreach efforts. These events are typically held at senior centers, churches, independent living facilities, and senior housing. Many of our volunteers are retired nurses or former educators, people who are familiar with reading their Medicare summary notices and the basics of Medicare. If someone is interested in volunteering for our program, they should contact SMP at 877-272-8720. All volunteers go through a thorough screening process and receive training. The federal government estimates it is losing anywhere from 60 to 100 billion every year to fraud, waste, and abuse. Medicare has mailed out the new Medicare cards this year. If you have not received your card, you should call 1-800-MEDICARE. SMP has been receiving reports about beneficiaries being targets of scams involving free durable medical equipment such as back braces, knee braces, and walkers. SMP reminds you that you should never give out your Medicare number over the phone. If you have received any durable equipment that you did not order or do not need, you should contact SMP. Since 2007, the Medicare Fraud Strike Force has charged over 3,000 defendants. We're grateful for the work of the Senior Medicare Patrol. Next up, 
It's the place to be for barbecue aficionados in South Louisiana. Find out where next on Community Louisiana. Welcome back to Community Louisiana. It's Texas style barbecue that took a detour through Monroe before landing in the Red Stick. Now, it's home in Baton Rouge for people looking for some down home flavor. Take a step into Potna's Barbecue. Well, Potna's Barbecue began in Monroe, Louisiana in the late 70s. Uh, my brother and his two partners went over to Texas and uh, found someone that owns several barbecue restaurants in Texas. He gives the recipes and people are from other states. They got their own style of barbecue, but Texas is a little bit different. Texas is a big barbecue state. It's a big state in general, but uh, they cook a lot of barbecue and I think we learn from the best part of the country on how to barbecue. Most people, once they taste our food, love our food. It's good, it's very good, it's excellent. Our beef brisket is, you know, it's real smoked brisket, uh, which is a, a key ingredient. Then our, our pork ribs are as tender as you're gonna get uh, without steaming them. And third, I would say our barbecue chicken. It's got the same smoke uh, that the others have. We burn uh, red oak. Uh, in the stores. If we, you don't spend an arm and a leg for lunch, dinner, or anything else. Well, we have uh, packages that are designed to feed more than one or two people and we price them accordingly. One thing that helps a lot uh, with our catering or we get a lot of business from it is the fact that uh, we're very accommodating to the customer. So I learned about Podners uh, just as a regular everyday customer going in with the family. And then I realized one day when I was in there that they did catering too. So I said, wow, well there's an opportunity there for, for me to possibly have them cater some of the lunch meetings that I have and some of my customers. A company called us up and they wanted to feed 250 people. And this was on a Monday and they wanted it for Wednesday. Okay, what do you want to feed? <laughs> so it was extremely easy for me calling in as a customer because I just told them what kind of a meeting I was doing and how many people I needed and they ran through literally every option they could do for me um, and they break it down for me exactly what's included, what I can get, what my options are and I just tell them uh, what I wanted and they made it happen. Uh, we listen, I mean, my people are trained to listen what the customer needs or wants. It's not uh, scripted, uh, it's uh, a complete uh, reaction to what they envision they want and how they want to serve it. You know, and then we, we, we get going and we're capable of doing that. Um, sometimes I'll have early meetings that I'll need to have lunch there for because the meeting will happen first and then lunch. So there are times where I'll need to pick it up around 10.30, 10.15 or 10.30. Well, they don't even open till 10.30 in the morning. Um, and they've gone, gone above and beyond having it ready for me before they've even opened. And when I got there and knocked on the door, they've unlocked the door for me and had it ready for me. So I was able to come in before hours to pick up the food. It's not that one person that you're delivering to. You're delivering to them barbecue and they're responsible for 50, 100, 200 people and they want to make sure everything is done good, great, excellent food, you know, on time, all those things and that's what they depend on and that's why they come back to us again and again and again. When I call them now, I've been using them so many times when I call them now they just know what I want. So I just call them up and say, hey, I have a meeting. All right, Mr. David, we'll get you taken care of. And they literally have it ready to go when I, when I get there to pick it up. Everything is always so fresh, still hot in the pans. They put it in very nice boxes so that if it does spill, it doesn't go anywhere. I think what I really like the most about using Podners is the food is always great. The service is always excellent. Uh, but more importantly, as a customer, they know me. So they know when I call up there, they know exactly what I want and they have it ready to rock and roll whenever I walk up. Come to Podnitz because A, you like good barbecue. B, you get the same quality of meat, the same side orders. All those are available through our catering services. The food, when I bring it to these meetings, is always welcomed by all the, the customers. Obviously the great tasting, the fact that it's real barbecue is what they like about it. They seem to really like the, the beef that Podnitz does and the baked beans, they're always a big hit. Every time I ask, what would you guys like? They always say, the baked beans for sure. 
I think my favorite is probably the baked beans. I absolutely love their beans. Well, we have two locations in Baton Rouge. South Sherwood Forest Boulevard is just south of I-12. Florida Boulevard at Donmore. Florida Boulevard location is 926-3341. And the uh, location located on Sherwood Forest, just south of I-12, is 295-7056. A lot of people don't have time to get out, and waiter is the perfect answer for that. They can pick, up, pick it up from us in five or 10 minutes and be on their way uh, back to you. We also have a website. You can find that at podnosbatonrouge.com. Podnos is all about the Louisiana taste that really satisfies. When we come back on Community Louisiana, find out what Cox is doing to make Louisiana homes the smartest. Welcome back. Technology is the wave of the future, but you don't have to wait to find out how it can help your life today. Cox is at the forefront of ways to make your home smarter. Take a look. We are located in a beautiful home by Manuel Builders in Ville de Côte Jalais in Broussard, Louisiana. So this home is powered by one gig residential service called Gigablast. It's super fast internet. This home powers more than 60 connected internet devices that help people age in place or just live more conveniently in their own homes. You can cook, you can clean, you can connect with your loved ones or even your caregivers, all from Wi-Fi connected devices now, which makes it extremely easy for people to live in their homes as they age. Today we are making a sweet potato and pork Cuban stew and it's with the uh, Smart Cook crock pot. I like the fact that you can turn them off and on from other places. Like if you decide I'm gonna run one more errand but I don't wanna run home and turn off the crock pot, you can just take your phone and be like I'm gonna switch you to warm and then you, and then you get home and dinner's just like sitting there. I am wearing a pendant button. Home Life Care is one of the most comprehensive medical alert devices on the market today that gives seniors the ability to be able to call for help by simply using their voice when they don't have their pendant button on, where they can talk to an emergency monitoring service who will be able to find out what the problem is and send them the help that they need. It actually has a family app that helps family members monitor the older person without disturbing them and without invading their privacy. It's simplified technology that helps seniors age in place. So we have taken virtual reality and made it a social experience for seniors. Um, now this elephant at your one o'clock, so we can take seniors back to their childhood home, to the church they got married in, where they went to school, even the home they raised their family. And we're only able to do that thanks to you know, the rapidly increasing quality of internet. And Cox allows you to really go wherever you want. So Tripalo is a connected health solutions provider and we're actually owned by Cox Business, so allowing people to receive health care from the comfort of their own home. They're able to have health care, take their vitals, take their readings, and have video interactions with their clinician from their home, which is fantastic, especially for the population who wants to age in place. I live and breathe home life, so I'm a caregiver for three generations. People with Alzheimer's and also people with autism tend to wander. So it's really important to know when that front door or back door opens or where so you can get there immediately. So for example, on the back door, I have a harp. On the front door, I have a dinosaur roar. Smart devices literally are that safety net for me. I am not a technology geek. If this was hard, I wouldn't use it. And you can check it out at cox.com backslash home life to even tour it and test it out before you get it. And then Cox will come in and set up the whole thing. Powered by Cox Services. 
Smart homes like these are the perfect place for people to age in a place they're comfortable. That's going to do it for this episode of Community Louisiana on Your View. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to go out and make a difference in your community today. I'm Tracy White. See you next time.